Yes, good day. My name is Terry Shed and I'm from the Workers Rights and Human Rights Platform. Good day to the men's podcast. Today we're going to chop, talk about the men again. You know, we chop the ball as men. You know, and we are to get it back. You understand? We, are, we as men, we really chop the ball. We chop the ball so much that we, are, we allow the women to take leadership when the woman not supposed to take um, leadership above men right i know some people you all might hate that but watch our society today because a woman feel that she's more um on top of a man that is why i seen homes being destroyed because when the man and the woman home she feel she's more or she feels she is a man and because of that, you know, they can't have two men in a house. So if you feel you could roll like a lion, then I could roll more like a lion. But again, the men allow the women and them to do that. You know what I'm saying? If you go back to the old school ways, like a lot of women don't know that femininity is more powerful than masculinity. Eh? If a woman just be herself and be a woman, be feminine, she could destroy an entire nation by being feminine. Nothing wrong by being a woman or no. And we have to allow the women to be to be women. And women all have, to, all have to love all herself to be a woman. When a woman could just be a woman and be feminine, she could kill an entire army just by being feminine. But if you're walking up to an army and you you wanna be low just like the army, you got dead. But if you act like a woman, so spoken, caring, loving. You know, you, you rubbing the man's knees for him. You know, of course, you, you have a bubble, come, let me, let me rub your foot for you. Not knowing you don't have a knife already in your back to stab him. But women, the woman don't want to be a woman today. A woman want to be in front. She want to be a leader over the man. And that is a no-no. Because of that, that's why marriage is falling apart. That is why, you know, I'm mean, seeing some parents, um, some children going astray. It's because a woman don't know how to be a woman and we as men allow them to take leadership responsibilities. A man supposed to have leadership responsibilities. You understand? So for instance, you know, in the house, let me say in a house, it's not to say a woman can't have she input. A woman can have she input, but at the end of the day, is the man have the, the final input because he's the man who running the house. So let me say, I'm supposed to um, go out let me say cinema the man won't just be like well we're going movie tongue and full stop no you know the man and the woman go talk or they go discuss if the woman say nah i don't like movie tongue let me go um tune city mall is that at the end of the day the man has to say what you say babes it makes sense we'll go tune city mall or the man could say nah that ain't making sense then we go movie talk at the end of the day or last the woman had to give the man that um power of a courage that how it was supposed to be. Biblical days to know. That how the house was supposed to run. But if the woman feels she's over the man, it, it go have confusion. The man, you might stress out the man. It can't have two lions in a house. That like madness. That could be chaos. It have to have one lion in the house. One king. One queen in the house. You understand? One princess. That how it's supposed to be. Like there's a structure, there's, there's the Lord, there's Christ, there's man, then there's woman. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is wrong with that, you know. A lot of women don't feel bad, you know. And for the men who, who are like the women to overpower them, a lot don't feel no how by it. But if all of want a household to run smooth, if all of want the children and them to live a, a nice normal life and not a, a life of crime, because right now the, the youths and them out of control. The youths and them out of control, you know why? Because the woman feel she is the man in the house. And because she feels she's the man in the house, she chased the next, the real man out of the house. So now that she chased the man out of the house now, who dare to discipline the child? They didn't have a father figure there to discipline the child. Like a woman could raise her child by herself, you know, but there's so much that she could do by herself. She needs a man. You need the man and the woman there to raise the child. There's so much a woman could do. And we as men, we drop that ball. We allow the women 
to take that responsibility. And she not supposed to have that responsibility. You understand? The man supposed to be there with the woman behind him, guiding him. And gaining him the confidence, gaining him the motivation. You understand? Just by being feminine. You know, the man trying to build a house. And the man come home tired. He feeling stressed out. The woman had to be there saying, no baby, don't, don't feel stressed out. Come let me rub your back for you, right? No worry, we're going to make it true. You're going to make it and know you're going to do it, baby. Don't give up. Talk so spoken to your husband. Talk nice to him. But don't be, oh gosh, you ain't finished building a house yet. Be better go outside and, and let somebody else come and do it. No, you can't be doing that as a woman. You had to take care of a man, treat him nice. And in so doing, as the Bible says, the women used to walk as though, as though as if their feet never used to touch the ground. That is how men used to treat women biblically. The, the men used to treat the women as though as if she feet never used to touch the ground. But now, the whole place is in, in, in a mess because women take the leadership role. Women are not supposed to um, take that leadership role. They need to come down from the give back the man the leadership role. That is his responsibility. A man have a responsibility as well as a woman has a responsibility. There is things a woman could do that a man can do. There is things a man cannot do. You understand? And a, a woman could do. Vice versa. When they go in and fight an army, like, if you go in and fight an army, why why, why I carry not my wife there for? Is I have to go and fight the army? If a, a burglar tried to break in my house and me and my wife sleeping, why go to wake up my wife and tell she go and, and see what the burglar? No, I as the man had to go and do it. Because I'm my responsibility as a man, I had to protect my woman. You understand? They, um, everybody knows that children just cling to the mother more than the father. You understand? That is just how it is. They feel the, 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 the men don't want the, the children to cling more to them. But because they know the woman that the suckle the child. You understand? The woman carry the child for nine months. The child will cling to her more. You understand? A, a man does, does wonder, but a man can't do it. You understand? So we have different rules and functions in life. And one of them is for the man to always have the authority. Always be above. Always be ruling. Not the woman. The woman supposed to be behind the man gaining the motivation to go ahead and push forward to rule. That is it. So I hope all um take my word of advice. Yo.